Kowalski for EA Sports. I'm not here to patch up the crack in the Liberty Bell, but I'm here to watch some Flyers hockey tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Ducks get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Here's a pass down low. And that's a great heads up play by Sealer. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Coughs it up on the play. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Oh, big time use of physicality on that one. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Fires it! Oh, what a glove save by Gibson! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Quick feed to York. Silverberg's got it in the corner. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a winner. And a strong effort on that play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Richards wins possession off the draw. Picked up along the boards by Boldy. Takes the feed. The Ducks cross the line and gain the zone. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Boldy. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Lawton. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Handles the pass from the right wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that puck leaves the zone. Niskanen's taking it from his own end. Pass it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Richards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. And they win the draw on their own end. The Flyers take it along the wing. Grabs control of it on the point. Sits it in front, and that doesn't connect. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. And that one's picked off. And the puck skips out of the zone, they'll have to regroup. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. <laughs> Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Sandheim's got it in the defensive end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Rossi. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Passes it over. Battling for it along the boards. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Rossi's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. And they score! Delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring, so that's gonna know them by their power play, but it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. 
I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Ducks have to be feeling good about themselves after getting on the board first here. I like the tempo, especially in the latter half of this period, James. They've had more speed, more urgency to their game, and they're rewarded with that goal. Takes the shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grant Larson, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Dishes it off. Shuts it down. What a paddle. What a stop. He scores. What a goal. Just a minute between those two goals. Anybody who just got up for a quick snag is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Oh, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Anytime you're in the grade A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Anaheim's extended the lead to two goals here in the first. Well, you can certainly see that there's jump to their step. They have their legs underneath them, and they've really dictated pace and controlled the game. Carlson's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Michael's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. And a great save! Past the midway mark of the frame, Anaheim's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck to Richards. Now a quick pass to Boldy. And that's just out of reach. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Boldy. Faint pass feed. Oh, he'll feel that one. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Across the point. Just wide. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. A piece of it to make the save. Well, he's got an uncanny knack to find open space and drive to the net, James. It's because of his slippery hands. And when he gets in, he typically finds the back of the net, but not this time. Goaltender read him all the way. The Ducks have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Philadelphia's got it in the defensive zone. Puck moved over to York. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Centers glide into the dot as the face-off ready to resume play. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Good hit to bump him off the puck. And he takes the feed. Wrist one in front. And that shot dies in traffic. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. Here in the late going of the frame, the Ducks lead this one 2 zip. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Sealer. Moves the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Anaheim's look great thus far, leading here late in the first period. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Feeds the puck across to Johns. A little banging and crashing now. Dishes it to Lawton. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Centering feed. 
And a pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! The puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Passes it over to Samula. Takes a shot, and that goes off a player in front. Quick pass across to Boldy. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Johnson's crossed the line and gained the zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath back to Portable. Second period set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game for the first 20 minutes played? Anaheim's got a two-goal lead heading into the second period, and I'm not surprised, actually just a little surprised, it's not more. They dictated pace and tempo. They've been aggressive and hounded pucks. But in particular, one of the reasons why they've been most successful is they found the shooting lanes, and they're putting the puck to the net. The Ducks continue to lead here in the second period as they have been the busier team in the shot department, and it shows. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Sealer. There's a solid collision. And that's poked away by Faber. Takes the feed from the left side. To his teammate. Oh, close save by Gibson.
Lots of time left in this period. The Ducks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. And it's kicked away. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Moves the puck along the half wall. Feeds it over. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. And that's intercepted by York. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. And that's poked away. And he slides it quickly to Richards. He's all alone with the goaltender. With the stop. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. The Ducks win the draw. season and you apply pressure to yourself, your own personal expectations. I think this number is a nice number for him, James. I think they'll be happy with number 10. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Ten goals now for the rookie. I think it's fair to say he belongs. Well, he believes he belongs, no question about it, James. It's not just the production, but it's urgency around the puck. You can see that he's just eating up everything that the staff has to say to him. There's good communication on the ice. I feel like he believes that he is a big part of this group. Oh, look at the glove save by Gibson. Niskanen's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Anaheim's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Puck scooped up by Johnson. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Quick shot! the same. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Anaheim's got a three-goal lead. The Ducks win that offensive zone face-off. Sends the pass over. Slides it diagonally to Fabry. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to Johns. The Ducks have it now. Michael's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Slides it across. And that's knocked away by Frost. Shuts him down. Right on the doorstep. Zone from the middle. And a stiff break set up. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Sends it out in front. And that's stopped. Dished on over to Faraby. Oh, and a smart heads up play. And that goes off a stick. Puck picked up by Sealer. And they continue to apply pressure here. Play is blown dead with the offside. Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone Everybody likes a winner. winner. Yeah. I think I had that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Angles it over to York. Great reach with the poke check. And now it's over to Silverberg. Wraps it out of midair to keep control. Back to the blue line. Fantastic save! 
Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Philadelphia's got the puck at the defensive end. Gets it back. Here's a chance. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Takes the cross ice pass. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, don't technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Anaheim's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Ducks win it. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Philadelphia is looking to break out. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Rocks him on the play. Oh, what a save in front. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Dishes it off. Great pressure with the stick. Moves close to the point. And he's ridden off the puck. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Nash is going to play it against the half wall. Oh, no! He saved it! Oh, wow! Oh, he was swimming. He was out of the pool, James, but he finds his way back in to make that save. Incredible. I can't believe it stayed out. Well, his play continues. In a load! He scores! What a finish on the breakaway! This is right in his wheelhouse, James. He is one on over the goaltender, and he knows exactly what he wants to do. That is, read exactly where the goaltender is and put it in the mesh. A defensive breakdown, and the wrong guy's got the puck on his stick as he's in on the breakaway, James. I love the way he can read the goaltender. He knows his moves, and he finds a way to find the back of the net. Anaheim's been feeling good all night long, and look at where we're at here. We're still in the late stages of the period here. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable game for them so far. I mean, they've just been so dominant offensively. Their opponent really doesn't know what to do. They're trying to slow the game down, but they can't because they're just on fire in terms of pace and dictating it. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Skates to the crease. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. One of his greatest gifts is his speed, but he doesn't slow down when the puck is on his stick. That often happens to many players in the game, but not him. He creates his own openings, and he just can't bury it there. I mean, it's a nice save by the goaltender because he's such a threat. The Ducks take possession of the neutral zone. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Flyers have it behind the cage. Here they come up along the wing. Great reach with the poke kick by Dali. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Pushes it across to Boldy. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight, and we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Ducks have been terrific tonight, and through 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead, and this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in, where they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have to utilize our lineup here, all four lines, versatility, get them out there and rest up players for the next game. Scooped up along the wall by Faber. The Ducks will play it in their own end, and he maintains possession of the puck here. Back to the point it goes. Ah, uh -huh. nice block. He's him off. Oh, what a save on the one timer. He was dialed in there. Anaheim's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Through the middle of the ice 
they enter the attacking zone. And he stacks that one with the club. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Anaheim's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's moving it up the ice. The Ducks continue to lead big here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Big time stop there. And some good footwork to kick it away. Slides it across. Nice puck check. And he takes the dish. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Passes it over. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And somehow he hangs on. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Off the post. Philadelphia's been getting a ton of good looks and generating opportunities, but going off the post is getting some bad bounces, some unlucky ones. They're going to have to create their own fortune. Avoids the defender. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Slides it over with pace to power. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Picks off the pass. Anaheim's been effective in all three zones. They've held play in the offensive zone. They've carried through the neutral zone, and in particular, they've been fantastic in their own zone. They protected the house, they protected their goaltender, and now it's about protecting the shutout. Quick feed to champion. Makes a save. attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. A blast! Brilliant save! Read it perfectly! And there's a great hits up play by Drysdale. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. A point down! I love his confidence and composure with the puck, James. I mean, he will manipulate his opponent as he's maneuvering his way to the net because he's willing to pause. He's got that confidence. And when he gets net front, man, the goaltender is in a ready position and makes a nice save. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Ducks work it through center. Moves it quickly over to power. Answer the call on that play. Looks to pass it to Couturier. 
The Flyers play it along the wing. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Oh, tremendous hit on the play. Look at that. He's on his own bench. Oh, great catch by his teammates, isn't it, James? As he lands in the laps of his own. And you know what? There's a lot of laps going on right there. They're saying, man, you got it. You got a good one. Anaheim's man advantage shooter will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Oh, and it just puts it wide of the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Loses his balance on the play. Keeps a hold of the puck. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Now lining up here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Forced to start along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Anaheim's across the blue line. Jabs the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Johnson. Puck dumped in. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Nash. With the blast! And that goes off the glove and it stays out. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. Fires it on net, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Tosses it on to Sandheim. Quick pass to Couturier. Big hit, and that frees up possession. The Ducks gain the zone. Moves it to Brink. And a project knocks the puck away. Blocked in traffic. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Martin's up and ready to get back on the ice. The Ducks have the puck now. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Couturier's picking up steam. Unable to reach that one. The Ducks gain possession. Broken up by Drysdale. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Panthers are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so get them now. It should be a good one coming up. Anaheim's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and made a big time late in this third period. And he scores! Silverberg. And now he angles it across to Boldy. Oh, 
Oh, and he whiffs on it. The Flyers have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Rocks him. Gets the puck over to Farabee. Feeds it to Drysdale. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck over to Michael. The Ducks take it across the line. Quick feed to Faber. And that's intercepted by York. Here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. See ya.